and filling out a free application for federal student aid. It's the main way many families pay for college. Unfortunately, changes to the form and delay after delay, they have created a huge and complicated mess. KETK's Ashlyn Anderson spoke to a family that's trying to sort it all out. Recent FAFSA changes and now glitch after glitch are causing setbacks for parents, high school seniors, and the colleges accepting them. And I'm pretty stressed. Out. I'm pretty stressed. <laughs> Stuff is spilled out, but I mean, we don't know if it's correct. Looking for answers? On Thursday night, mother and daughter Carly Murphy and Kylie Case took their problems to Jacksonville High School's FAFSA workshop. I had to log in several times. Mm -hmm. um, I think maybe there was just a lack of Wi-Fi down or maybe there was just too many people trying to get on it at the same time. The Department of Education launched a new system in December, which they claim is aimed at making the process easier for everyone. They're now doing something called FADDX, F-A-D-D-X. Um, it kind of replaces what was used to be the DR, uh, data retrieval tool, where you now have to consent to allow the IRS to input your financial information. Before this year, there were about 100 questions to answer. There is now less than 50. The case, along with many students and parents across the country, say the new questions are confusing. We still urge students to complete it as soon as possible, because really the sooner you get it into the system, the more likely you are to figure out if you had mistakes, so you have to go back and change things. After starting the process three months ago, Murphy and Case are hopeful to finish their application soon. For now, any potential college financial aid is in limbo. That's what I don't know how to do is to go in there and um, add my father into it. So they can check this off their graduation list and get an acceptance letter soon. Ashlyn Anderson, KTK News.